Welcome to another video. So, Gemini 3 and Nano Banana 2.0 have been trending for a while. There are more checkpoints of Gemini 3 than the entire OpenAI models dropdown. I have tested most of them. I wanted to talk about what's happening with Gemini 3, and I also want to talk about Nano Banana 2.0 as well. As of now, there have been around five checkpoints. There was the X58 checkpoint, 2HT checkpoint, Lithium Flow, ECPT, and very recently, Rift Runner. 2HT was the first checkpoint that I tested. I believe it was really good. For context, Sonnet was the topper on my leaderboard before this model, and it scored about 62%, which was good. But then Gemini came and scored 87% which is 25% better than Sonnet. In real-life use, this 25% translates into almost a two-times improvement because it can do really complex stuff. It can create awesome floor plans, SVGs, and whatnot, so when they first launched the model, it was amazingly good. Then the second checkpoint was also really good and actually improved. It was the X58 checkpoint, which scored the highest on the leaderboard at about 91%, which is about a 30% improvement over Sonnet. It makes floor plans that allow you to customize the furniture, change times to see how the lighting reflects, and things like that as well. Not just that, the SVG for Panda was also really good, and it was just awesome. It was simply a great model. However, then came the ECPT checkpoint, and well, it made the performance worse across the board. It was still awesome, but in comparison to the older checkpoints, it felt weaker. It still scored about 18% better performance than Sonnet, but it wasn't as amazing. There were some errors that started appearing in the generations, and it wasn't really a good experience. It scored about 11% below the best X58 checkpoint. This is what happened with OpenAI's GPT-5 as well. There used to be a checkpoint on LM Arena called Zenith, which was said to be GPT-5 before it launched, and it was really good. But the model that was released was a pretty big nerf compared to that one, which wasn't really a good look. What happens is that most of these providers test their base models without quantization or safety filters first. And then as people use these secret checkpoints, they start to add filters. After that, they quantize the model to allow for lower API pricing and ensure that the API for the model is widely available. Google seems to be delaying the release and doing this because, if you remember, there used to be about three or four checkpoints of Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental. The API for that was very rate-limited, even if you paid, which killed its momentum at the time. However, this time, we might see a proper model release without the experimental label and such, and it will probably be a wide release across their products. The API likely won't have extreme rate limits like before. And to do that, you can't really serve the full model without quantization, because Gemini 3 Pro, from my belief, will have about 3 to 6 trillion parameters. To serve that model at reasonable speeds and prices, the model needs to be quantized. Some unused experts need to be pruned as well, which does, in fact, have some performance trade-offs. You also need to consider one more thing, which has been happening in consumer electronics for a while now, and that's making something intentionally worse to keep something left for the next generation. For example, most companies that make phones or other devices don't put everything they can into their first-gen versions. They make sure there's something left to add in the next gen, and Google might just be trying to beat the competition by a decent margin rather than a huge one and keep pushing that boundary slowly. But it might not be that, they might just release the full model under some name like Ultra or something. 
There were also other checkpoints that sometimes fixed and sometimes broke the model. The recent one was Rift Runner, which was kind of bad in comparison to the other checkpoints, but it was still better than many. This checkpoint is still available on LM Arena and Design Arena, and you can test it out there as well. It's still great compared to current gen models. However, it's still worse when compared to the older checkpoints. Also, these worst checkpoints could also be Flash, but I don't think so. Another thing I want to talk about is Nano Banana 2.0. Nano Banana 2 has been available here and there on some platforms. It sometimes leaks, and people have tested it. It is said that the model is supposed to be based on Gemini 3 Pro as well. So, Gemini 3 Pro will also come with image editing and generation capabilities, which will be the first time we'll see that feature on the Pro model currently. Only Flash models have this option. It seems that Google is trying to truly dominate with this release. It's said to be really good. It's trained on a ton of things like characters, styles, and more. The previous Nano Banana was good at editing, but now it seems to be even better at generating images from scratch. It can even generate images from text. Now it was possible before, but it wasn't great. So this is quite awesome for sure. There are many examples on the internet, as it was available for a while before getting patched, but the results were quite insane for it. It can even handle full-on mathematics and whatnot within images. It's quite a big leap in image generation for sure. Also, for the release date, it seems to be coming before November 22nd, as Google's CEO retweeted a post saying that it could arrive before November 22nd. It might be on the 18th, as there were earlier reports about that date, but I'm not sure. It's currently said that Gemini 3 is now available on Gemini Canvas in the mobile apps, and if you use Canvas mode, then you will be redirected to the 3 Pro model. But I don't know how true that is, as I haven't tested it yet. Let me know if you guys want me to test that as well. That's majorly about it. I thought I'd talk about Gemini 3's whole story and share it with you guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comments as well. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.